Okay, so in the last video, we were talking about the, taking the Laplace transform of the derivative, and I kind of rushed through that last one. So let's be sure we inter, uh, understand this computation here for the second derivative. And so the idea here is I want to write the Laplace transform of y double prime in terms of the Laplace transform of the original function, uh, just like we did here. So this is our original function, our original Laplace transform, and previously we talked about computing the Laplace transform of y prime in terms of the Laplace transform of y. And we found that the Laplace transform of y prime was equal to s times the Laplace transform of y itself minus y of 0. And remember now this is constant right there. Okay, and so similarly then we took the Laplace transform of y double prime, we looked at it by definition, we integrated by parts twice, which brought the double derivative down to the original function. And then we just wrote out what we had, and then we recognize that this itself is y of s, right? And then we evaluated this going from, infin uh, going from 0 to infinity, and we end up with this quantity. Okay, so that the Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared times y of s minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. So let's write these down so far. So uh, go back to white, Laplace transform of y, so maybe I should start with the first one. Uh, Laplace transform of y of t we're defining to be y of s. Then the Laplace transform of y prime is equal to s y of s minus y of 0. And Laplace y double prime of t is equal to s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And so what would you guess is the Laplace transform of the third derivative? Well, you can kind of see the pattern here. That's going to be s cubed y of s minus s y of 0 minus y, oh, s squared y of 0 minus s y of s prime of 0 uh, minus y double prime of 0. Did you guess that? So what's see the pattern here the powers of s are decreasing here and the derivative is increasing so we're going from s cubed s squared s and then the derivatives are going y y prime and y double prime okay and so if we tried to take the laplace transform of the general form then if I take the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of y at t, I would have s to the n y of s minus s to the n minus 1 y of 0 minus and then minus and then the last one would be the n minus first derivative at 0. And this, if you look at the table, is table entry number 14. Okay, this is going to be a really important formula. And in fact, what I would go ahead and do is memorize these two, because these two are going to be used so much that, you know, you're going to have this table in front of you, but you're going to forget these. And so it's good to just be able to apply these right off the bat and not have to worry about it. Okay, now you might be saying to yourself, why are we looking at the Laplace transform of the derivatives? And um, the idea will be the following. I'm going to give you a derivative. So for example, suppose I give you y double prime plus 2y prime plus 5y is equal to 0. Well, now we already know how to solve this. In fact, let's go ahead and do y of 0 equals 2 and y prime of 0 equals minus 1. We already know how to solve this, <coughs> but we're going to develop a new technique now for solving it and the technique is I'm going to take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. Uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, instead of just talking about it. 
So if I do that, I'm going to take the Laplace transform, y double prime, plus 2 times the Laplace transform of y prime, plus 5 times the Laplace transform of y, and I'm going to set that equal to 0. Well, Laplace transform is 0. And so this one is going to be s squared y minus sy of 0 minus y prime of 0 plus 2 times the quantity s times y of s minus y of 0 plus 5 times y of s. That's our definition, right? Equals 0. And now, if you look at this equation, this is no longer you do it in red. This equation right here is no longer a differential equation. It's an algebraic equation. <clears throat> it's an algebraic equation in capital Y of S. So I'm going to solve this equation for capital Y of S and then I'm going to invert the transform to find what Y of T is. And so let's do that. So I'm going to factor out the uh, Y here. I'm going to have S squared plus 2S plus 5 times Y and then I'm going to have, let's see, minus s times, I'm taking care of this term, y of 0 was 2, and then minus y, double, y prime was uh, minus 1, so that's plus 1, right, so that takes care of this term and this term, and then minus 2y of 0, minus 2y of 0 was 2, equals 0. Okay, so it looks like I've got uh, plus 1, minus 4, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, minus 3 there, and uh, 2s there, minus 2s. Okay, so then y of s is equal to 2s plus 3 divided by s squared plus 2s plus 5. And now to solve the differential equation, I just invert both sides. And actually, do you remember? We did this inversion already. Let's see if I can find it up here. Do you remember doing it? It wasn't too long ago. Oh, is it here? It should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right here. Good. There it is. So we said that uh, we took the 2s plus 3 and we uh, completed the square first and then we broke up the fraction and then we figured out what our constants needed to be in order to uh, invert the transform. And so now we can see that my constants here are 2 and 1 half. So let's go down here. And so now I'm able to write y of t equals 2 times e to the minus t cosine 2t plus 1 half e to the minus t sine of 2t. Very good. Okay, so this is really the key to using the Laplace transform to solve a differential equation. Let's see if I can rewrite that now. So we start with an ODE in t, and what we want to do is we want to find y of t. Right? So the method of Laplace transforms is to go around the block here, so to speak, and take the Laplace transform. And so we get an algebraic expression in y of s. And then instead of solving for y of t, this is just some algebra. We solve for y of s. We solve y of s equals Let's see if I can write that better. And then finally, we invert the transform to find y of t itself, that which was our goal. Very good. So this picture right here is the technique of using the Laplace transform to solve a differential equation, which is the topic of 6.2. All right. So I'm going to stop here, and in the next video, we're just going to be solving some differential equations using the Laplace transform from start to finish. All right. So good luck. Read through the material, and I'll see you back here soon.